All right, for a person who doesn't cook, it's a little strange that my spice cabinet occupies one of my largest kitchen cabinets. I've been dreading going through these because you know spices are expensive, but oh well, here we go. It's probably gonna be a lot of them, so I won't bore you with the details. I was on a big turmeric kick because it is anti-inflammatory, so I bought too much of it at one point. This one says best by September 10, 2019. Holy shit, that's not a nine, that's a five. Best by September 10, 2015. That means that this is not going on five years past its prime. This thing is going on nine years past its prime. This is the one mostly used up, but holy shit. Nine years? What? That doesn't even make any sense. But when I think about it, uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Actually, it does make sense. But I can't believe it, but I can believe it, but I can't believe it, but I can believe it. Yeah. Wow. That's by 2022. Okay, the funny thing is, I actually just cooked something. Right there, these are um, little eggplant parmesanas and they have Parmesan cheese on top of the mozzarella. Did I use this grated Parmesan cheese? Nope, I didn't. Because when I actually want to eat something, I want something fresher. So I had bought that Parmesan cheese, even though I have this one in the cupboard. So I don't even know why I got this one. I think growing up, I always had like cupboard old dry Parmesan cheese and I have it in my head that it lasts longer. But um, as you can see, I don't actually use it. It's a fantasy. So I gotta get rid of it. Tarragon, practically full. I could swear that I use this because I, I like it and there's this one recipe for delicata squash and um, tofu where I love this. So I could swear I use it, but I don't use it. Number one, it's practically full. Number two, it expired in 2019. It's like the turmeric. It's almost nine years old. This curry powder, again, I could swear I use it and it's um, it's mostly used up, but, um, but I don't use it as much as I think I do because it expired three years ago. I don't know if this food coloring goes bad, but it was for a one-off project my son did, you know, years ago that went with the ube powder and the ube flavoring, so it was really a one-off thing. I'm never going to use it. Cream of tartar. This is something that I used to use frequently, or I thought I did, and this one is um, practically brand new, but best by April 2016. This is eight years old. I am clearly not using it anymore. <laughs> Whole nutmegs. It looks like a thing that shouldn't go bad, um, and it's practically full. I don't know what I ever used these for, but that's by February 2016. So again, shit is eight years past its prime. I think I partly keep it because I read somewhere that if you eat a whole nutmeg, you can hallucinate, but also it can make you really sick. So I'm, so when am I ever gonna eat a whole nutmeg just so I can feel sick and have hallucinations? That would be never. Cardamom is one of my all-time favorite spices. I love cardamom. I even, I even enjoy eating them just like straight out of the pod. Um, but this thing, best by t October 2016. So in eight years, how many of these cardamom pods have I enjoyed eating? Um, looks like maybe one pod a year so as much as i purport to love cardamom gotta let this go because i'm not actually using it star anise another one of my all-time favorite spices it, it smells delicious tastes great and it looks so beautiful i freaking love this stuff this thing is practically full and the best buy date is december 2019 going on like 
five years and I've used looks like probably two of these that I've thrown into something. Just because it smells amazing and it looks cute doesn't mean you're going to hang on to it. I got to let it go. There's something in here and I don't know what it is. It's a bunch of dried fennel seeds. So that's where that went. I had no idea it was in here because it's in a cute Australian tea tin. Um, now that I know what's in here, am I going to ever use it? I don't think so. This came from a gigantic container of fennel seeds that I bought at a great price when my son was probably, I don't know, three, four years old. That means this is well over a decade old. I'm never going to use these. They're going to the compost. Rice seasoning. I love this stuff. It's so good. It's practically full. We must go through a lot of this. No, we don't. Best before April 2022. This expired two years ago, and I barely used it. And if I love it so much, why do I barely use it? Because I actually don't make a lot of rice at home, or when I do, I never remember that I have this stuff. And I always put a different seasoning on my rice, um, usually salt and butter. I just never remember I have it. Now that I remember, am I going to use it? Probably not, because it's all stuck in there and it's two years past its prime. So I'm going to have to let it go. Believe it or not, I do like Marmite. I like the taste. Um, it's about halfway used up, but the date on this is November 2017. That's seven years ago. That means I probably bought this in 2015 or something like that, almost a decade ago. I like it. I don't like it enough to use it that much, apparently, so gonna let it go. And here's another practically brand new cream of tartar. Best by December 2017. Going on seven years there. Here's another thing of caraway seed used by 2025. So this one is actually still good. We can keep it or maybe I should just um, contact my friends who actually do cook and see if someone will take that off my hands before it goes bad, seeing as I have like these two more to consolidate. California lemon peel. I love lemon peel. It's amazing. And I use it when I cook, but I apparently don't use this one because it went bad in 2015. Um, almost nine years ago. What do I actually use when I need California lemon peel in my cooking? Well, I usually buy a fresh lemon and use the fresh lemon peel. Why would I use the stale old lemon peel in the cabinet if I can have a fresh lemon peel? So yeah, let's just pitch this. All right, I think that's it. So how many things are we getting rid of? It doesn't really look like a lot, but it's actually 28 things. So there's my day 28.